Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Professor Choice's Corner. In our intro to criminal justice class, we dived into the fascinating world of police and operations. It is fascinating. Uh, chapter six, titled Policing Operations, explored several crucial topics. First, we examine the principal policing roles and the various strategies um, employed by police departments. We discussed how law enforcement agencies strive to maximize their resources to ensure effective policing in our communities. So additionally, we explore the factors that shape public opinion about the police. Understanding these factors is essential in maintaining positive relationships uh, between law enforcement and the communities they serve. Uh, we also delved into the challenges of comparing the service needs of diverse populations and how police departments adapt to cater to those needs as well. Now let's shift our focus to the fundamentals of criminal law. Chapter 6 title, The Law Covering the Use of Force, one of my favorite subjects. Uh, this chapter covered some crucial aspects of legal consideration when it comes to the use of force. First, we examine the concept of self-defense and the defense of others. We discuss the legal principles surrounding stand your ground laws and the castle doctrine, which by the way, vary from state to state. Next, we explore the use of force in making an arrest. Understanding the boundaries and legal justifications for using force during an arrest is vital uh, for both law enforcement officers and individuals involved in these type of situations. We also delved into the legal considerations when it comes to the use of force in defending property. Knowing the circumstances under which force can be uh, used to protect one's property is crucial in understanding the law. Lastly, we touched upon the topic of disciplining children and the legal boundaries that parents and guardians must navigate. Uh, I've got to tell you, I had a great time hashing it back and forth with you all on that subject the issue of uh, disciplining children, what your perceptions are, what my perceptions are, and what your perceptions will be going forth. It was a great time to talk on that. And that sums up chapter six for both classes. Remember, understanding these concepts is essential for anyone interested in criminal justice or the legal system. Hey, I wanna thank you for uh, joining me for this recap on chapter six uh, i think we're going to really uh, see that we en enjoyed it when we compare it to chapter seven and put everything together and since i fixed that problem on my youtube channel if you have a question or comment post it below i'll see you in class